Alrighty, guys. It is Monday, the 27th of September. We're going to be tackling uh, Hakuba um, by Scarzor and a whole bunch of other people. Um, I use this track as, I think, this weekend video. Um, and I, I told you it was coming. I told you in this video that this was probably coming. Now I gotta get ahead of the game and play the uh, full speed one for when that comes. But we get this started. I'm I'm already familiar with the track. So I knew I don't need any introduction. We'll watch the GPS right off the bat, so you can see how the track is. this nice llama car. It's a very deep drift. I don't know if that was the optimal exit, but it's good enough. And you have this quite fast section into a jump that's into an ice slide where you will basically fling out of it and into a finish. And then clearly that replay was made before the scenery went in because he just went straight through a bunch of scenery. Either that or the scenery doesn't have any collision. Try and see if I can get the God. Ah very low. Wow. The low drift is pretty easy to get. I just need to not go over the corner. Otherwise, I'll just be signing my name in the ice. Also got to make sure I don't overdrift in this one. Clearly, I'm having a problem with that. Okay, like, I don't understand why I'm having such a hard time doing the first turn. Some weird gears there. Yeah, see, I I had to let up because I was going straight into the death corner again. But it killed my gear. I need to not turn so aggressively whenever I do that water bounce. It's a good start. Yeah, not great. We're getting there. I'm getting the, the hang of it again. Ah! Uh, and I landed on the finish. Let's go. I lost a lot of speed there. Ah, okay. I got out of the drift and was facing a direction. I was basically facing into death. 
Let's not do that. I don't want a camera switch there just because I can see. I have a lot more speed out of that. It only helps catch up though. Still behind. Okay, it's fine. At least get back into the groove of this track. My end is where I can get a lot of time. Try doing it with my camera. What the heck? I just went straight up the dang thing. Okay, and then this one I'll need like a really tight corner. Oh, this is the problem with doing it in this camera is I go a lot wider than normal. But that might be a good thing, honestly. So if I go wider, I'll keep more speed. I just have to be careful of going too wide. Oh, I... Yeah. I slid out. I couldn't tell that I was I slid out because of the camera, but I had slid out. Oh god. Okay. this camera for this one. Okay. This drift is kind of just like do it and you'll be fine. Right now we've got in a bit of Alright, cool. There's an improvement. Didn't take much we got there. Even though it's a track that I've already played, we uh, still go for improvements. I would hope it not to be a situation where I play a track and then it becomes track of the day and I don't have the ability to get an improvement. The only time that that might happen is on my own tracks. If I ever get a track of the day for my one of my tracks, that might be the situation where I've set a time for a track that I'm not able to beat. Because I, I grind hard for the, uh, not the author medal. I probably can get the author medal on any of my tracks, because I don't grind them. I want them to be achievable for most people. What may not be achievable is the uh, GPS time. <laughs> because that time is usually the grinded time. And that time will usually be pretty challenging. I don't know why I'm trying to change cameras when I don't need to. Had to be careful there. Lost some time to sliding. and it would have been a difficult... The only thing I could have do, done was maybe a better slide at the end, which I'll admit needs to happen. OK. 
Okay, I lost a lot of speed. <laughs> that water bounce was horrible. Water bounce, I feel, is where you're gonna, all the time's gonna go, or get up, or get made up. Something about it just feels like that. That's gonna, yep. Careful of that, hitting that ledge, I go super deep on the inside. I like this. Nice, very smooth. <laughs> Extremely smooth, and I love it for that. make it in a finish. Nice. Good time. See, you don't need to use Cam 1 for ice, except probably to learn the ice. After that point, you can switch back to whatever you're comfortable with. Uh. This is not great because I'm going to come up really high and I feel like a shallower line is what I need. I don't want to be over there. I want to cut it in a little bit more. Nice flip. Good flip. Okay, let's not go over the edge. And we'll cut it in like a ton. So I can get this super shallow angle. Uh, it wasn't great because the entry was bad, but it's a lot of time to be gained from just that little bit that I did. Holy crap. That was um, not good. It's actually pretty difficult to get an ice slide there because I'm going downhill. Honestly, I'm not getting I'm not getting like the perfect ice slide there, and I'm okay with it. Okay, I went too shallow, which I didn't think was possible, but here I am. What? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna definitely go off the edge here. Too deep in the inside. Yep. I'm gonna jump off the ledge a little bit. This one turn in particular is the one that I want Cam One on. I'm okay with this, even though it means I'm behind. Let's speed out of here. A very awkward approach. Okay, I'll just grind, board slide the ice.
Oh, I touched the wall. Except I didn't touch the wall. I just got close to the wall. Get on the wall. Oh, oh my god. So deep. I lost a lot of speed there. Yet I'm still ahead. And that wasn't good. Yep. I overextended. I was like, I, I was thinking that, um, I had noticed that every other time that I had, uh, Every other time that I had, um, done that upwards corner like that, I'd have to break it a little bit extra just to get myself into the ice drift. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna throw myself into it a little bit or, or a little bit harder than I normally would. Just to just make that ice drift, ha ice drift happen a little bit sooner. And then I just threw myself into just the tightest ice drift that you ever did see and uh, ruined a run that could have been point two. Okay, this is not good because I'm gonna go right up there like that, yep. I'm always like right at the point of seeing it happening, but I can't get it out into words fast enough to explain what I'm about, what is about to happen. It's pretty obvious what's going to happen to me. I kind of want to relay that to you, the viewer. Except I see it just not fast enough to get that out into words. Wow, that was, um... Something. Oh my god, yeah. You definitely want to be getting out of that ice drift. As soon as possible. That's why I'm okay with it basically not being an ice drift. Please. Yeah, I lost a lot of speed in that ice in that bounce because I was like perpendicular to the water. To roll myself in. Oh, that was smooth. Okay. That's pretty slow, all things considered. This is not good. I don't... I need to be as close to that inside wall of that bobsleigh entry as possible. Now I'm gonna go up! Because pro tip, you can ice slide on a vertical surface like that and go up it. I don't know why it's... I don't know why I called it a pro tip. You're never gonna need it. Ever. You know, it's a thing that you can do. Please. I have less speed is the problem. I 
Maybe I don't have less speed. Whoa, I got out of it. I was in an ice slide and then I just wasn't in it anymore. I worry when I'm like stealing my ice drift from right before the. Okay, I let go. Don't let go, kids. Hold on for dear life. I want to get out of this. All right, we're good. Oh, I touched the. If you go side, if you go further, far enough sideways on your wheels, you start getting slowed down. For obvious reasons, but still. Might be too tight. It's not. I'm gonna go way too high. I exited very smooth for how crazy it was, but it was all for naught. That's the finish. That was a good end, I'd say. The middle could use some work. No! See, the turn keeps me in the ice slide, so if I'm still in the ice slide by the time I hit the turn, I'm dead. Gonna fly off. Okay. Sure, I lived, but I lived with the cost of like a second of time. I almost shifted up on the bobsleigh. This is a super shallow drift that got crushed by me going over the hill. It's unfortunate because that was going to be so good. I was, but you saw I was 0.4, and if I had exited the ice perfectly, or at least not sideways, things would have gone so much better. A little slow here, which is fine. If I get a good exit, I'm okay with it. I let a lot. I lit up a lot there. Whip it to the side and just point four behind. And we are. I really do think I can get one more improvement, but it's gonna take some effort. We've got five minutes ish. Well, four and a half. Or five and a half. Okay, geared up really early. I'm a little slow here. It's, it's fine. That was a good exit. This feels slow. It's not any slower. At least it's not much slower. Need a good end. Hey, I said I could get one more improvement and I did. Let's go. Alright, now we got a victory lap of five minutes to maybe get one more improvement.
I don't need Cam One. I got this all on my own. I can do. Oh, I'm not gonna improve because the end, but man, I almost crushed my own time immediately after setting it. Didn't like how that drift was going. Oh my god. Turns out I can't get a corner at all. I had a really good entry into that bobsleigh. I shifted up right at the end of the bobsleigh. Which is an accomplishment, I'd say. Can I stop doing that? I've got three minutes, and I'm gonna spend all of it just bumping into this corner. This it's super slow. At least I'm exiting the ice fine. You only really need one tap in there when I go into the temple. Two minutes, I can at least get point one off my time, because I saw that it was basically possible. What the heck is happening? Okay, that's what's happening. I was like on the edge of catching myself. Okay, sure. Please, I want to go! <laughs> I have to take a very sharp angle. Let's go wide and then cut it deep in. Not, not that deep, because I'm just going to go into a rock. But sufficiently deep. No, I cannot describe what sufficiently deep means. No, it doesn't matter if I can describe it or not. Oh, I got air. Oh, that rock doesn't exist. That's fun. We are getting close to the end here, so... Uh... I think it's about to be time. I will see you all tomorrow. We will tag whatever track happens to be the track of the day. For the day. Um, until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. I will see you all tomorrow. Later.